Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I am going to show you how to populate our landscape with uh, landscape grass output with various grasses and bushes according to the landscape layer that we have painted. So as you can see, we have some grass meshes uh, spread it out in the landscape where the grass layer is painted and on this uh, soil layer you can see some other type of bushes so let's see how to do that let's get started okay so this is my current project and we don't have any grass yet and to be used in let's open our material first landscape material right so now uh, you, as you can remember this L3 L3 is the grass layer of our landscape so that means this one and uh, I'll first create grass output for that grass layer to do that uh, what I have to do is drag a line from here and type grass so we get this landscape grass output and I'll name it L3 grass okay so now in order to paint grass meshes we need to have a grass type so let's go ahead and create one so first uh, I'll create a folder called foliage and here in this miscellaneous type you can see this landscape grass type I'll name it GT1 GT stands for grass type and here I'll add an element and I have already imported some grass meshes taken from asset packs and uh, so this is the grass I imported and uh, as you can see we do not have the material so let me quickly fix it okay luckily we have the material for that this one right so I'll go back to this here and I'll type grass yes this is the grass type we need and I'll reduce the density to something like 50 and I'll set this one into max so this represents the scaling of the grass mesh one minimum scale and maximum scale so at the runtime it will be something in between randomly so I'll set it to 1 and 1.5 also I'll set the starting color distance to 1000 and this one to 5000 because I don't need to grass meshes to appear in far away because that will eat performance right so now let's go ahead and apply this grass type we just created into our material here and let's compile and see what happens okay so the shader is compiling let's wait a little okay so material is compiled so now you can see grass meshes all over the world but only when the grass material layer is present so it is not on rock surfaces it is not on this soil surfaces it is only on this grass surface and one uh, one small thing as you can see 
this cross meshes are normalized perpendicular to the landscape surface so this is not the natural way so let's fix it like this here there should be an yes this one align to surface I'll untick this so it should be fixed okay so now as you can see the grass meshes are not aligned to the surface alright so the next thing I want to do is I want to add another layer in this area that means uh, we are the soil or the rock and grass limit re limiting region that means this brown area so I'll go back to my material and uh, here I drag another line from this one so this is the this is this layer and there is a, we can't just uh, we have to make another grass type here like this and I'll call it L2 bushes right and uh, we can't just plug it like this as we did before because this layer this brown layer uh, has this uh, the grass layer as area as well because uh, I'll show you so if I directly plug this and for this one I'll create another grass type GT2 and for that I have already imported some bushes this one also I got from uh, asset pack and this one and some other plant this one <laughs> right so I'll open my I'll first type figures <laughs> okay and I'll reduce the density to something like 10 right and then I duplicate this one like this and again and here uh, for figures I'll use this figures 3 and here I'll use that plant we had like this okay so I'll assign this grass type 2 we just created into this L2 bushes and let's apply okay so as you can see not only the grass the bushes are all over the place so to fix that what I have to do is I have to subtract this one or this layer from this one before making it the input to this one so I'll apply and wait okay so now we have only these bushes only in this this areas and grasses only in these areas so this is the way we wanted it right and that's all for today and see you in the next episode in the next episode uh, I think I'm going to start on dynamic weather system um, okay thank you very much